Okay, guys, I wanted to make a quick video for y'all so you could see exactly what's happening in this situation. So a couple of excuses that the government is making is that they didn't get a chance to read the bill. Some of them said they were deceived because the form was not correct, that they put it in to be able to tell what's what, which means that someone did that on purpose and acted in deceit. So a couple of things they did not know. The form was not correct and they acted in deceit. Now, why are all these things important? In Article 2, Section 1 of Arizona Constitution, you see where it says that the people have a right that is guaranteed to bring their government servants into teaching of fundamental principles in order to keep a free state. So in other words, the government officials are consistently going to try to give you advanced ideas and systems and tricks to make you a slave and interfere with your individual rights, which is what's happening in all these different arenas. Now, you have a right to teach them. So because you have a right to teach them, you're going to show them these fundamental principles. Now, fundamental principles that are spoken about is not defined in the state constitution. So that means that there are some more simplistic things that the people have a right to teach them. I'm going to show you guys real quick so y'all can get this together and see it. Forgive me for the fly flying around. I had the window open. All right, we're going to get to it. Okay, so here we go. This is from a book by Charles A. Weissman. It is a uh, collection of fundamental principles of law called maxims already universally accepted. So look at what it says here in 69D. No one can properly understand one part before he has read through the whole again and again. So how is it that the legislature could claim that they had understanding of what it was that they passed and followed the law and what they should do for the people if they never read through the whole over and over? That's the first start. Let's continue. Okay, to take it a step further, 69L, to know a thing and to be bound to know it are regarded in the law as equivalent. So you wish to tell us that somebody snuck in some information uh, inside of a bill, did not present it in the normal way. You had no idea and you did not know, but you were bound to know it by law as somebody who's going to pass legislation that might affect the people. Well, if you do an act and somebody deceived you, that is one thing because they didn't follow form. And this is what would happen next. OK, so we look at 29 L deceit and fraud shall not defend, excuse or benefit any man. So they can't excuse what they did because uh, someone deceived them inside of the legislature and then they allow it to continue, which would benefit some people in the legislature, but then hurt the people. Once again, deceit is an artifice since it pretends one thing and does another. Same book, guys, 46B, legal form is essential form. They can't just do things outside of the way they normally do it and then act like the act still counts. 46C, where form is not observed, a nullity of the act is inferred or follows. Guys, what they did without following form and putting things in the right uh, context so people can see what was new and old and not letting people read it and all this foolishness nullifies the act. So they think that they're slick, but that will not pass. One more time, 46D, where the law prescribes a form, the non-observance of it is fatal to the proceeding and the whole becomes a nullity. So guys, they cannot follow the correct form and procedure and then act like they did acts that are legitimate. Okay, guys, so real quick, to act like they don't know what was in the bill shows that they did not vote for the bill in good faith. They did not have full disclosure of what it was that they were dealing with. There was deceit involved, which means that someone did something in a way that is out of the ordinary in order to try to get them to glance over it and not pay attention. Several of them have claimed that. You cannot have people benefiting off of the deceit of the legislature. Um, on top of that, they did not follow form and uh, they did not know what was in the bill. They cannot lawfully say that they knew what was in the bill if they did not read it. Therefore, this should be avoided and corrected. So I wanted to give that to y'all.